diet danger. Have you seen this product advertised on TV? Did you buy any? The government wants everyone to know about some serious health risks. And we continue along the way to end the week here on a Friday night. Some dieters and bodybuilders like it. You may have seen the TV ad. Perhaps you ordered some. But tonight, the feds say no way to a popular diet supplement. And later, the woman who's showing the unlikely way to success and making a difference. The story we mentioned earlier, the government tonight is warning Americans to stop taking an over-the-counter dietary supplement. It's popular with dieters, bodybuilders, nine million bottles of it were sold last year. But the FDA now says it can cause liver damage and may be linked to one death. Our report tonight from NBC's Tom Costello. Millions of Americans. The ads are everywhere, from cable TV. I'm Jillian from Illinois, and I lost 39 pounds fast with HydroxyCut. To the pages of beauty magazines, promising to help burn away those unwanted pounds. HydroxyCut is one of the country's top selling dietary supplements. But the Canadian manufacturer is now recalling 14 products. After the FDA found evidence hydroxycut can be very dangerous. There is a potential risk, which is serious, and we recommend that the product be discontinued. The FDA believes hydroxycut can damage the liver. It has 23 reports of serious problems ranging from jaundice and potential liver damage to liver failure that required transplant. The FDA also reports one death. Other side effects include seizures, cardiovascular disorders, muscle damage, and kidney failure. In a statement, the company says the number of adverse event reports described by the FDA in its advisory is small relative to the many millions of people who have used hydroxycut products over the past seven years. It's just the latest scare involving the diet supplement industry, an industry that Congress has given the FDA limited authority to regulate. Amazingly, the FDA cannot pre-screen products if the ingredients existed before 1994. And the FDA admits that's a big problem. Many of the dietary supplement ingredients that are now mixed in various ways in the current dietary supplements were ingredients that were marketed before 1994. Consumer advocates say that has to change. The whole population becomes, in a sense, a guinea pig to find out whether something is safe because the company didn't have to do anything to find out whether it was safe when it came on the market. Now, with 114 million adults taking some type of dietary supplement from vitamins to energy drinks, Health experts argue FDA oversight before products come to market is long overdue. Tom Costello, NBC News, Washington.